What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. So week one of Arbitrum Odyssey event is officially finished. Well done to those of you, you guys who participated, especially to those of you guys that listened to my video last week and used the hot protocol to bridge your funds over to Arbitrum because you guys were qualified for the extra NFT, so well done there. And here we are now in week two. So in week two, we've got two different protocols that we're gonna have to use in order to qualify for both of the NFTs. And so I just thought I'd do a little guide to show you uh, what you need to do in order to make yourself eligible for that. So the first protocol that we're gonna be using, we'll go over uh, GMX first today and then we'll go on to Yield afterwards. They're the two protocols we're gonna be using. Uh, in important things to note is that you have three different tasks for GMX. You need to make a leverage trade, you need to do a swap, and you need to mint some GLP token as well. Uh, it says here there's no minimum, but actually is. Um, since then, if you scroll down, you'll see that actually um, there is a minimum, and it's a minimum of $10. You need to make sure that your trades uh, you know, worth more than ten dollars, and you're minting more than ten dollars worth of GLP just to make sure that you qualify on that. And then the second task of the week, the second protocol, is the yield protocol. And in here, you're gonna need to either do one of three different things. Okay, so the first one, you could provide at least fifty dollars of liquidity. You can lend at least fifty dollars, or you can borrow at least one hundred dollars. You only have to do one of these three. But with that being said. It means to complete these um, tasks this week, you need to have at least $50 in your Arbitrum wallet, basically. So if you didn't bridge that amount last week, then you need to add some extra funds to make sure that you can do all the tasks. So let's go ahead and get into it in some more details. This is it, this is the GMX exchange. Now this is a decentralized exchange where you can uh, trade futures, basically. You can long and short, you can use leverage, uh, just like you can do on a centralized exchange. So to complete these three tasks. Uh, one thing I would note as well, uh, I'm not one to be shilling referral links everywhere, but in order to um, save money on transaction fees, uh, it's better to use a referral link. So I will add my referral link in the description of the video and you just wanna click on referrals here and then you wanna paste the referral code in there, paste it in and then you will save money when you're doing these trades in terms of transactions and stuff like that. So getting back onto it, we've got three tasks to do. The first one is make a leverage trade. So you wanna have either be a long or short here. Uh, you wanna make sure there's at least two X on leverage. You can change the leverage down here on the slider and you wanna make your trade. I mean, we've got a week to do this. There's no rush. I mean, yeah, you can jump in and make a trade and jump back out of it. I'm sure you qualify. There's absolutely no rush. You can maybe, you know, wait until you find an opportunity in the market during this week where you, you know, you're gonna open a long or short trade anyway. And you know, then just use GMX to, uh, to, to make that trade. So yeah, there's absolutely no rush. But one thing I would say is, you know, it was the same last week. You had a whole week to bridge your funds to, um, to Arbitrum. But during the last 24 hours, because so many people left it last minute, maybe people were trying to get extra wallets in and stuff like that. Uh, it caused so much congestion on the Arbitrum network, especially on, on the bridges, especially the hot bridge, uh, that people didn't get their funds uh, bridged in time and they missed out on the extra NFT. So, you know, we don't know how congested the Arbitrum network is going to become, you know, next Sunday, you know, the last day of uh, this week's task. So, you know, you maybe want to get the task done, you know, uh, sooner rather than later, but you're just, you're not obliged to do it today. You know, you could wait for a better opportunity that comes up in the market on, you know, whichever coins you like to trade, whether it be ETH or, or Bitcoin or whatever. And yeah, just make a long or short trade, make sure it's got some leverage and make sure that it's worth more than $10. So moving on, number two, we need to make a swap. So this is just changing, you know, any sort of um, coin for any sort of coin. And again, it has to be a minimum of $10 and uh, at least $10 into there. And then you just click on there and make your transaction just like you would do on a normal decentralized exchange. The third and final task is you need to go into this buy section here and it's GLP we're interested in, not GMX, it's GLP. Uh, you wanna buy it on Arbitrum and wanna make sure again that it's at least $10. And uh, yeah, so that's your three tasks that you need to do on the GMX, um, GMX exchange. And once you've done those three, you can then go ahead and move on to the next protocol, which is the yield protocol. Now remember with this protocol, you only need to do one out of the three tasks. So on this, you can borrow, lend, and provide liquidity. You need to do one of those three. If you're borrowing, it needs to be more than $100. If you're lending or providing liquidity, it needs to be more than $50. Remember that. 
So, for example, here on the provide liquidity, so you need to put at least uh, fifty dollars. Um, I haven't actually got any USDC in here, so I'd have to maybe use the GMX, um, the GMX exchange to to give myself enough USDC in order to provide the fifty dollars liquidity. Uh, but you can also use Dai here. You can use one of these two, uh, but you need to make sure that you have fifty dollars worth of that. You know, choose a strategy and and then press the button down here and just follow through the transaction. The same would be for the lend, you know, uh, you see either DAI or USDC, take that into consideration, especially maybe when you're doing some swaps over on uh, GMX. And again, you just need to enter the amount and then follow through with the transaction. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So things to take into consideration this week is the minimum, you need to make sure everything that you're doing on GMX is a minimum of $10. On here, the minimums as well is $100, $50, and $50. And uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all we need to do for this week. We've got a whole week to do it. You know, don't leave it too late because we don't know what's going to happen with the Arbitrum Network over the next weekend when it gets really busy. Everybody trying to do the transactions last minute. And uh, yeah, oh, one last thing as well. Uh, seeing as though last week we have completed the uh, the task, if you actually head over onto Project Galaxy, you will be able to claim your NFTs now. So there's two different ones, and I'm going to leave the uh, link to each of them in the description because there's two different pages where you will claim your NFTs. This is the first one just for bridging the funds. So you just need to connect your wallet to this. It'll say that you're eligible, and you can click the claim button, and you'll be able to claim your NFT. And uh, yeah, hope you guys got something out of the, the guide today. Obviously, if you did, please subscribe to the channel. I also do have my own Discord server, so I'll leave a link to that in the description of the video. Come join us over there. And uh, yeah, I'll be making another video again next week when the next week's tasks are finalised. And yeah, so thanks for listening as always, guys. Until next time, bye.